Hello everyone, my name is Dorian and welcome to another track guide with the F3. We are at Road Atlanta and this is a great combo. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm definitely gonna race here this week. I hope you guys will enjoy this track guide. If you do, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. As always, I've prepared a setup. When I say prepared, I took the iRacing baseline and tweaked it a little bit. So basically stole a setup and I'm sharing it freely with you guys on my Discord. There's a link for that in the description below. Let's get on the track. Okay, so we're coming up to turn number one. Let's look for a breaking point. It's gonna be, uh, well, initially we're gonna start turning in before we break here. I'm gonna steer a little bit from the left here. You can see I'm steering left, trying to go across the white line, put my left wheel across it to its left. That's just to widen my approach, widen the arch into turn number one. And you have this little triangle here, this little point where the white line meets the grass. And that's our lifting point. That's when I decide to make the, the small lift a sm very small lift just to make sure the back end stays in check because i'm still changing changing direction as i can see the car is planted completely lift into trail braking very subtle five percent ten percent no more than that for a very short period of time and already from this point i'm going back on the power right around here now it's sixth gear when the tires are warm fifth gear on first maybe second lap and I'm looking for an early apex here. I'm trying to hug it as much as I can, really kiss it. Already back at full power at this point. Stay on the inside as much as you can. Do not let the car go wide here. Do not touch these curbs. And try to stay as close to the middle of the track as you can. It will be a shorter route, be more rubber. You won't scrub off as much speed or tire. And staying in sixth accelerating straight up the hill and as i can see this tree sort of more clearly you can start to turn in left it's a blind corner you gotta start to turn in way before you see the current the corner and i'm looking to put the left side of the car right on this green curb from around this or this point give or take you don't want to start being on this curb from all the way from the beginning it will chuck you out but from around halfway through it you want to be uh you want to have your left side your left tires right on it so you can see right around at this point now also you can you can also see that i'm lifting this is just to make sure there's a lot of pressure on the rear tires right now and there's a lot of heat because of the previous corners a uh, corner as well so you want to lift here j just to make sure the back end doesn't snap out you can probably take it flat with a really clean line i would suggest you don't especially in a race Trying to put the left side of the car on the curb, and as soon as I do, I have this dotted white line or cross white line, whatever. And yeah, I'm gonna start to brake. So the, the braking here is very subtle, very gentle, and very short. Around 35%, not even 40%, downshifting into fourth gear very quickly. And right before the, the green curb starts to run out, I'm gonna start to turn in. Looking for an early apex here and to cut as much of it as I can without getting an off track, without damaging the floor, which probably doesn't really happen here, by the way. Uh, you can pretty much abuse all of the curbs without taking damage, but definitely get off track. So this was without an off track, and I don't think you can give it another inch without getting one. 
So I got the left tire on this uh, <laughs> yellow line here. Let's see. Let's take a look at it from the outside. Yeah, this is pretty much as much as you can cut it. Only reason I didn't get an off track is because my left rear is on is on the is on the tarmac here, and everything else is not. Car is <laughs> pretty almost flying through this curb. You can see I'm in, uh, it's pretty much flying. I'm in the air right now, and. As it about to land, I'm already back on the power, as you can see. Let's go back to the end side. Whoops. No, that's not the one. There it is. Going back to the end side here. So, yeah. Squeezing more and more throttle out of it. Just to maintain stability. Not going flat out yet. I want to straighten out the wheel before I do. Wheel is straight. Back to full power. Now, staying on the left. This curb is kind of dangerous, actually. If you... If you <laughs> I mean... Three times out of five, it will spin you around. This time it didn't. I don't know why. It's pretty random. But you might be smarter to uh, kind of avoid it and try to hug the yellow line that's adjacent to it. But definitely try to hug the inside here. Don't let the car run too wide. You'll just be scrubbing speed. Taking the car to the left and initiate a very early turn in. I can still, I can't still, I can't see the apex still. But I'm already turning in, looking for an early apex right here. Now, a good indication to when you want to start to turn in is you got these blocks, this curb here. So one, two, three blocks, four blocks, and I'm turning in. So fourth from the end, I'm going to start to turn in. Flat out the whole way through, so you're accelerating from fourth to fifth and to sixth. Right at this point. And... Nice smooth lines. Again, putting the right side of the car on the curb to initiate the braking. So right around here is when I'm going to start braking. When I got the right tires on the curb just to maximize my approach into this corner. A braking point would be this sign, I think. I don't have the field of view to, let, to tell for a fact where exactly the car is. But I think it's just about that sign. That should be the braking point. If you got triples, you can uh, verify that. And braking, again, peaking very low, 40, 35, 40%. Uh, reason being, the car is bouncing all over the place. Very easy to lock up, very easy to lose the rear end when you're turning in here because it's all very high speed. So, you brake a tiny bit earlier than you think you should and carry the mid-corner speed, which is the most important thing. And, yeah, looking to hug the inside curb here. Already back to full power immediately. So as soon as I hit the apex, I'm going to let the car go neutral just for a little bit. Just to make sure it rotates nicely into the apex. I can see the apex. This is the angle I'm looking for. So back on the power immediately. No hesitation, no nothing. I know it's going to take me to the outside. But I also know the car is going to be able to deal with that. This is in fourth gear, by the way, the whole way through. So you're accelerating from fourth into sixth into fourth again. In this sector. Let the car run wide. Keeping a, the wheel as straight as possible. That's that's the trick with this corner really. If I'm honest. So just keeping the wheel straight. As you can see I'm opening up the wheel. Even though I still need to turn in. Because as you hit this curb. The straighter the wheel is. The more stable the car is going to be. And immediately opening up the wheel after I hit the curb. Taking the car to the left and looking for a braking point. Now, let's pause this for a second. We have two dotted lines. We have the first one, this this guy, and we have the second one over here. We're going to break smack dab in the middle of them as far as I remember. So we crossed the first one just now. And right before the second one, maybe a little bit closer to the second one, I'm going to start braking. And again, the peak is low, 40%, 45%. And the, the release is pretty immediate. Sorry for getting text while I'm doing this guide. Downshifting from 6th into 4th. Trail braking into it. At this point, there's so much camber. There's so much rubber. You're going uphill. The car is slowed down enough. You don't really have to trail brake into this corner. So from this point on, it's pretty much a little bit of neutrality. And then bam, back on the power very aggressively. So as I hit the apex, immediately to uh, 100%, 4th gear. The car just sticks very nicely. Now there's no breaking point for the next corner. So what you want to do is build a sequence where flat out in fourth gear, 
go all the way to the outside, you open up the wheel, and as soon as you open up the wheel, you know you need to brick. That way, you won't need to look for a reference, you'll just have that sequence. And breaking from 4th into 2nd gear, 50% peak as far as I can see here, but the release comes very quickly because the car has a tendency to have snap over steer under braking here. You really want to try to avoid that because the time loss on the back straight can be insane. So brake early here, line the car up nicely and have a good exit. Better exit, a uh, good exit here, more important than pretty much any corner on this track. Do not screw up this corner, that's what I'm trying to say. Starting to turn in right before the curb ends, let's say two, three, four blocks before it. So at the end of the final to last white block is when I'm going to start braking. Uh, is when I'm going to start turning in. As I do that, I release the brakes almost completely into trail braking. Again, I'm second gear here. I want to try to make sure the back end doesn't kick out. I'm being very gentle, trail breaking all the way into the apex. At this point, I've realized that I'm about to slightly hit the curb, which is what you want. So I'm already back on the power. Missed the curb, but that's all right. I'm very close to it. And the power comes in at, in one big chunk of around 60%. Staying on it, waiting with the 60%. And as I can open up the wheel, back to 100. No need for 10, 15, 50%. No, smack it into 70% or 65%, the car will stick. Just don't want to smash it all the way to 100 in one go. Gonna take us to the outside nicely. And we're through. Staying on the left here, and then going to the right. Again, taking short routes and looking for a breaking point here. This is a crucial corner. Again, you can lose a lot of time or gain a lot of time here. We have three white lines. The first white line is not our breaking point. The second white line is not our breaking point. So right between them, right around here, when I initiate the braking, and this is the highest peak in the, in the race. So from sixth gear, all the way down into third, I would say 65% pressure, 60%. Staying on it for quite a long time, as you can see, as we finish the final line, can see me bleeding off the brakes so that could be a good indication for you guys to start lifting off the brakes even though there's not a lot of time to think here it's such a fast corner releasing more and more on the brakes and now i'm going to start to turn in right around this point third year trying to clip this apex nicely it was all right but you can do a little bit more without getting off track just need the right angle and immediately back to around 60 percent I'm trying to stabilize the car at this point. This is not my acceleration point just yet. I'm looking for a straight wheel and a planted car. And as soon as I have that, back to 100%, no hesitation. I was going to rotate nicely after I reach this curb. I'm going to have to catch it a little bit. Just open up the wheel a little bit. And it's fine. Going all the way to the right here on the exit and staying in the middle of the track for a significant time gain. Very surprising. And that's it. That will give us a 113487. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this track guide. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments what you think and hop over to my Discord as well. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.